okay so now let's do uh, the same problem with the four digits shopping how we can do that just take this as it is okay 6x square 3.462 we have already calculated so even after the shopping the value will remain as it is so if you want to do the three uh, four digits chopping so you should just keep the first four digits uh, now in that case uh, after the decimal we have one zero so there is no need to uh, I mean chop after this because it is already zero and even if you add it there will be no difference so and then x care this is how we can calculate x care the actual x care is 0 0.577 square so we do uh, the chopping and then this value after chopping will become 3.3329 and 3x care it will be 3 multiplied by the actual value will be 3 multiplied by this value so even after chopping it will be 0 0.9987 and then you can subtract this value you can subtract it here 1 minus this 0 0.003 so even after chopping there is no need to do the chopping for that because we will keep all these three digits and then we can calculate the value after four digits chopping that is equal to uh, 6x divided by this square so it is 2048521 and how much will be the true error the percentage true error it will be equal to the true value we have calculated true value here minus the calculated value divided by the true value multiplied by the hundred so the error has been reduced from 90.8 percent to almost 13 percent so you can see that just keeping the one digit one extra digit how much is the big difference between the values so now you can understand that uh, if you increase the number of digits uh, for chopping you will have like if you keep more digits you will have less error and if you uh, do chopping after three di three digits uh, or if you remove more number of digits from a number then it will be higher error so this uh, concludes all uh, this review of this chapter so i have discussed almost all of the slides about that so this part is just like uh, for the explanation that uh, whether why we have to chop or we have to do the rounding in, in case of uh, computers if we have to store the value so instead of storing the full value we do chopping like like this value we uh, we don't store these full values we have to either round off or we have to use some certain number of digits in the computer to convert them into the binary and and this slide is just like uh, this is uh, if the base is b b is the base if it is decimal system so this b is 10 so the value of m the mantis are the value of m ranges from 0 0.1 to 1 and for base 2 this value is uh, from 0 0.5 to 1 how these values are calculated 1 over 10 and 1 over 2 and the highest value is 1 so this is all about the uh, these uh, errors round of errors and the chopping errors and why we have to uh, why we have to uh, uh, do this chopping some students they were asking that whether we had they have to go in more detail uh, I did not explain here, but in in lecture I explained that how you can convert the binary into decimal and decimal into binary and also More explanation about these slides, but it is a review lecture. So I did not go uh, more detail But we uh, don't need these for our upcoming lectures It is just an extra explanation which will help you uh, to understand that why we have to do the chopping and rounding if you have any questions, you can just drop me an email or you can post your comment in the below. 
video i hope it will uh, i mean these tutorials will help you to understand better or to retain your knowledge and it, it is a sort of review lecture and it will also help you for preparation of your exams and questions and quizzes thank you have a good day bye bye